Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Bengal to explore something special called Nolan Gur. It's a traditional Bengali sweetener made from the date palm sap. It has a unique flavor and it's very popular in Bengal. So today we are going to witness the making of Nolan Gur, a soul of Bengali sweets. As the sun begins to rise, skill workers from local village embark on a challenging journey climbing up the tall date palm trees. Their mission is to collect the precious sap, which is the key ingredient of the Nolan Gur. These earthen pots are carefully fixed high on the trees, right at the spot where the bark has been skillfully cut to collect the dripping sap overnight. The sap collected in this earthen pots is a sweet and clear liquid. It flows from the veins of the date palm tree and it has all the natural sweetness and flavors from the trees. It's a race against time. The sap needs to be collected and processed before the heat of the sunlight causes it to ferment. Now let's see what happens next at the boiling site. From the treetops to the ground, the collected sap is now ready for the next crucial step. At the boiling side, a crucial transformation begins. Here in this traditional setup, the sap is carefully poured into large pots placed over wood fire stoves. The gentle heat from the wood fire causes the sap in the pots to simmer slowly evolving in texture and enriching in flavor. The simmering sap gradually thickens, turning into golden syrup. This stage requires constant attention and stirring to ensure the syrup doesn't stick to the pot and burn. As the sap turns into a golden brown syrup, it releases a captivating aroma, a blend of earthy sweetness with smoky undertone. And here is our Nolan Good, a sweetener that's much more than just the sugar. It's a part of Bengali culture and culinary art. And with that, our journey through the making of Nolan Gur comes to an end. Thank you for joining me. This is Mehulingu signing off for today. Stay tuned for more food adventures with Amchi Mumbai.